Hi, everybody. I'd first like to start off by uh, saying our prayers and uh, good wishes are going out to our friends in uh, Florida. Uh, you know, be safe, stay strong, um, you know, and just, just be safe. Uh, that hurricane is, uh, and tornadoes are really something else. Okay, uh, today let's look at the, um, I, I decided to revisit my Castle Ravenloft uh, 3D project and, um, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll show you a little bit about them, and then as some of the tiles come out, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at them. All right now, I'm kind of working on the, I'm working on the, uh, all the tomb and, and crypt uh, type styles, uh, or files. Okay, so uh, what I have here is the uh, staircase, the uh, beginning tile, if you will, for all of the Castle Ravenloft scenarios, and you know, it's pretty much just a staircase but let's take a look at what I what I used and how I used it for the floor I used some uh, some of the um, uh, Dwarven Forge crypt uh, floors uh, you know they have tiny tiny little skulls embedded in there and uh, what's kind of what I think is kind of neat about this this tile is that I kind of used a bunch of different uh, different things to uh, to put it all together so you're just not limited to using just one type of thing you know like using all Dwarven Forge or using all Fat Dragon or using all um, printable scenery speaking of um, uh, printable scenery I the back wall is a four inch um, Four inch skull wall. It kind of fits the theme of uh, Castle um, uh, Castle Ravenloft. And then what I did was I sliced the bottom. I, I don't really like the uh, open forge. Uh, you know the the part of the base or part of the uh, part of the tile where, where you plug in a uh, you know you plug in this little like uh, uh, like a key or um, a little connecting piece to connect two pieces together. I, I kind of don't like those. It's kind of like a, a personal thing. But that's the that's the front of that. And then the back of these um, of these uh, crypt pieces. Crypt wall pieces is, is just kind of like a it's just kind of like a plain wall. See it? And then for the stairs, I used the I printed up two of the fat dragon uh, stairs. Okay, and then for the base for the bottom, I did a video um, a little bit ago about using the uh, artist. Um, uh, artist uh, canvas panels to put them together instead of using foam core or um, or using uh, cork. And then what I did was I I had they didn't have a four by eight uh, piece, so I, I made my own. I just I, I taped it up, taped it together, glue and then glued the you know glued the floor tile on there, and then on top of the floor tile I glued the wall and the stairs. And then what's uh, another thing I don't remember if I mentioned this on the. I don't remember if I mentioned this on the video about using the panels. Was uh, you you can write on the uh, on the bottom, you know. Just sometimes I'll write what I use just so I remember if I wanted to redo it or do a different version of it. Okay, so there we go. That's the uh, the opening tile for um, for Castle Ravenloft. Um, and uh, you know, I just I hope I hope you like it. What do you think? Send your comments. And I'm gonna and as I mentioned earlier, I am gonna be doing showing the, the different tiles that I used. I think uh, I petered out on the on doing the project because um, I, you know it was just kind of uh, it was kind of daunting to have to have to cast a bunch of stuff in uh, her starch, which I'm still doing. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm still going to use the Hearst Arts for some of the floors, but the uh, 3D, uh, the 3D printer kind of, um, kind of, you know, got me uh, all, all into this project again, and you know, and just kind of, you know, and also the uh, artist, uh, the artist uh, canvas uh, panels kind of thing, because uh, the. Um, the uh, uh, Hobby Lobby, and you know, I get uh, the, the Hobby Lobby had a 50% off uh, sale on these, so I just bought a bunch of the, the 4x4 ones are kind of hard to find, but I was able to get just get a ton of them at uh, Hobby Lobby at uh, 50% off. So, watch those sales, use those coupons. Um, well, thanks for watching, and uh, give me a hearty thumbs up if you like the vid. What do you think? Thanks for watching again. Thank you. Bye now.